Hi everyone, this is Rich Seaman again, and I'm talking with Pete and Michelle Nelson from our missions team. So, what is the goal of the missions team? Well, the goal of the church is to uh, reach out and teach others to, all to follow Jesus, and that's what we do in the global realm. Um, so we, we uh, enable the church to reach beyond the walls and, uh, and reach out to, to everyone around the world. Um, so, um, you know, as a congregation, it's pretty much, you know, local here. We just, through other missions and things, with other missionaries, we reach out across the globe. Great. We know the missions team provides for and stays in touch with missionaries that NCC supports. What other things does the mission team do that we may not necessarily know about? Well, one of the biggest things is we have the responsibility for a large budget. It's from your tithes and offer offerings, which we really appreciate. Um, we have to keep in touch with missionaries about whatever their current needs are. We get requests for new missions to support. Um, we try to attend uh, the International Conference on Missions on a regular basis every couple of years or so to find out what missions are out there that we may um, want to you know, become part of. We arrange for missionary speakers to come in to update the, con the uh, congregation here. And then of course, most of you know, we try to have a big event um, each year. We just finished the global meal packing. Um, sometimes we've had house building, um, various other things we try to organize, even just work day at Camp Christian, things like that, to get the congregation involved. Um, and we try to be a resource for any individuals that have an idea. Uh, the most recent thing was the barrels for Ghana. Uh, that was, you know, Michelle Slat's idea, and we just helped kind of get things coordinated with the missionary. Great. Um, why did you choose to get involved in the missions team here at NCC? Mainly to um, to see that God is working everywhere, not just here. He works, you know, in all kinds of places. Every place that we've been. Uh, you can see God working and just to enjoy that uh, and be a part of his work around the world. Um, how have you seen the gospel message served through missions here? Uh, well, um, we, uh, we serve about, we support about 14 overseas missions, uh, several of which are involved in many parts of the world. And um, uh, we also have uh, several quite a few uh, within the United States and locally even. Uh, and um, the main things that we focus on are um, missions that show mercy, in other words, um, providing for needs of people. Uh, we also always wanna make sure that there's some evangelism going on, spreading the word of the gospel. And uh, there's other missions that focus mainly on discipleship. We support all, all three areas. Great. What what blessings have you seen God give people through the missions program? Oh my! <laughs> We've helped build churches and um, even a soccer court, <laughs> and provide food and vehicles and um, you know just encouragement for the missionaries. You know they're out there in countries where there are very few Christians, and sometimes. You know, they just need to know there's someone else that cares about their their family and they're praying for them. Um, so it's really neat to be part of uh, an area where you can see the fruits. We get the newsletters and, you know, we find out how many baptisms and it's, um, you know, it's very encouraging and it's inspiring to know what's going on in the field. Um, so the blessings are both directions. We bless the missionaries and people in other work, uh, parts of the world, but we get blessings back. Great. And going on that, what blessings have you to received by doing your work in the missions from God? I think it's mainly um, developing real friendships with some of the missionaries. Um, when they come to visit, you know, we spend a lot of time with them, get to know them real well, and follow their newsletters and everything. And we, we have a lot of friends across the world related to that and um, also just uh, when we do manage to go on a trip or, or visit one of the missions uh, develop friendships with with the, the people that are there and uh, some of those are long-term uh, friendships 
been a real blessing. Very awesome. faith, faith building as well, hearing the stories from the field. Yeah. You get to see the, you know, the, some of the miracles and hear about the miracles that God's doing around the world. Great. Now, if someone's interested, how can they get involved with the missions team? Contact us. Uh, there's a Facebook page, uh, NCC Missions. You can like it. Um, anytime we have a speaker, it's you know it's advertised in the bulletin online. Um, come and hear about um, what's going on. And then when we have mission meetings, usually about every four to six weeks, um, that's also in the bulletin. You're welcome to join us at any time. Um, you could just contact us. Our information, you know, is in the um, directory. Um, if you're not sure you want to attend mission meetings, but you're interested a little bit, you know, maybe um, just adopt one of the missionaries that has come that you kind of were interested in what they had to say or a country you're interested in and start corresponding with them so there's a lot of different ways and of course we always want volunteers when we have the big outreach events and there's also some some of the local missions um, mckee's port and um, uh, also down on the north side of pittsburgh that uh, they're always looking for people to uh, help with those missions and we can get you connected that way. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for giving us your time today you. to talk about missions.